orange fluid fulfills all my sporting needs, therefore I drink orange fluid. Howdy, howdy, boys and girls, men and women, animal, vegetable, mineral, alien life forms, indigenous life forms, indigenous life forms, or I don't know, I'm trying to be silly and I can't. Anyway, um, just want to talk about a couple things. First, as you can see um, here, I'm, my F drive is dying bad. Um, apparently I'm running out of RAM, which is bad because I haven't been doing much of anything at all. But I've been trying to, I've just gotten rid of a bunch of junk on some, on another drive. Not really junk, but stuff that it's, I parted with. And now I've got a bunch of stuff on my F drive, 158 gigabytes I started with, and uh, I've been copying it over. It's been about, um, let's see, it's 128? It's been about 16 hours, and it's done 10 gigabytes, as you can tell, and it's 326 kilobytes per second from one drive in my machine to the uh, to another drive in my machine because my F drive is dying. Uh, if it... Well, if I want the stuff off the F drive, I gotta do it this way. It doesn't matter if it takes 50 years. If I want the stuff, that's what I gotta do. Eh, such is life. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you how it goes off my F drive, my going on to my G drive, how, oh, so quickly it's moving. And I don't know how long it's going to take, because that's just 158 out of the uh, 900 gigabytes, I want to say. So, it's going to take a while. I'll meet you back here in just a second, okay? Thanks. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, it's both more informal to be in this format, much bigger screen and much more formal as well because now it's only you and I because until my dying F drive goes away I can't use Wondershare. Luckily the uh, Windows Media Windows Media Windows Movie Maker 6.0 for Vista of which back when I first started using it you could buy a uh, by these other people, you could purchase from these other people who had made a, an expansion pack for it. It's 15 bucks, added a ton of stuff to it. And there's just a billion free XML stuff that you can add on to 6.0. It turns it into just one, actually very powerful editor. Uh, if you do it, I don't know why it's lagging aside from the dying F drive thing. But, um, oh gosh, I can't remember well where I was. But, well, it was lagging something like that. Here's the thing. We're on to my hand now. I went to the Veterans Administration today to see them. Okay, I am really dry. Please just one more. I'm gonna have to hold. Ugh. Orange fluid fulfills all my sporting needs, therefore I drink orange fluid.
So, I went into the doctor at the VA, and after demonstrating what my hand can and can't do, and how it works and doesn't work, and is my hand is just cold. It has not warmed up, and that's not a good thing. Ugh. I can use, you see, as long as I'm holding something that's bracing my hand back, I can do this stuff with my fingers. Without my hand there, it curls my hand. I can fight to do that, but. And here, in case you don't know these things, is why what's happened here with the the uh, nerve blockage is so dangerous. And it's incredibly dangerous what's happened here. And uh, in the time from Saturday till today, it is entirely possible that I have uh, already had a small amount, but measurable, of... Uh, irreparable muscle and nerve damage. Oh, come on, hand, just stay up. I'm gonna give you a little health lesson here on some things. Um, I gotta rest that. There's a little side thing. If you set your hand down on a tabletop, so it's just, you know, you're sitting down and you're looking at it and you watch your hand you'll notice that your fingers are always moving just a little bit on their own well that's happening over your entire body every single muscle and every single part of your body is doing that from your toes your gut I mean even the involuntary stuff everything every single thing that's a muscle it is constantly twitching. There, it's like a ba background service of our brain. And it's, what it does is it's constantly, it just starts, I, I wish I could say it starts here and then goes through until it gets to the beginning again. Our brains are, because they're organic and developed bit by bit, piecemeal over ages, nothing really works quote unquote efficiently but it works all amazingly so what's happening is yeah it's um in, and then sometimes things get you know double done while other things are only being single done but that's just the way the body works but so you've always got that happening that ensures that your body's background service is going through and making that all making sure all your muscles work and all your nerves work constantly 24 hours a day what that also does because of that is it keeps your muscles in tone it they're never fully at rest and unused unless something has gone wrong even just lying around you're, you're twitching and that keeps up your muscle tone and it ensures that you've got a valid sensory and motor nervous pathways what happens here with the pinch that I've got in my and it's it was exacerbated by grunching my arm down here but that was turns out to be a coincidental thing it just happened to be at the same time and not one thing causing the other the the nerve signals are going up through here and 90 percent of them are being blocked right here in the uh, carpal tunnel these are your carpals your toes are your tarpals so you've got your metatarsal metatarsals and your metacarpals your outer your outer fingers on but so that's what the carpal tunnel is it's the nerves to your carpal parts are going through the tunnel here the only way they can get through into your hand so whenever you're doing stuff that bends your wrist 
and makes your muscle, your nerves work in there. Or, you know, it's a repetitive stress injury doing that. It inflames the nerves, they swell up, and it's only like a, like this much space that goes through for this, in the tunnel. And if the, the nerve swells up to be bigger than that, there is no room to go. And it just damages. And so 90% of the signals to my hand are coming up through and stopping and then what else gets through is what gets through. That's why it's this sort of thing is so incredibly dangerous for the rest of your hand because For every 100 muscle twitches going on in this hand, because 90% of them are blocked, only 10 muscle twitches get through. And without that muscle tone, and without your, your nerve pathways demonstrating that they're open and being open, the muscle just atrophies and goes away. It's not getting signals going back and forth, and so our, for whatever reason our bodies are set up, the muscles don't get the signals, muscles shut down, go away. And the pathways, the longer they're damaged, you know, nerves can repair themselves, kind of, sort of, mostly, but it takes a long time, and it's iffy right now because it's all on its own. So, the longer I go day by day before I can get this fixed, the more damage is being done because my muscles aren't doing that twitch. And they aren't being tested. I mean, already, I mean, my hand looks to me I know it's because I can't pull it up, but it sure looks smaller than my left already. Oh, that is so fatiguing. My arm is so sore. So I sure hope the VA gets in contact with me as soon as possible. That'd be great because I don't want to uh, lose any more now. Medical marijuana is helping me in this situation too. Not because it's helping here, but because I primarily smoke indica. Uh, you know, there's sativa and indica. And an indica contains a powerful anti-anxiety agent. And since I primarily smoke either indica or a uh, indica dominant hybrid, I get a lot of anti-anxiety agents, which is good because I'm my head in here is still just going, you know, going, ah, 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 hand, hand, work, hand, hand, signals, signals, work, work, damn you, and just major freak out city inside here. Thank goodness for anti-anxiety agents on things. I gotta put this brace back on. Uh, this, the other thing the doctor said was, you know, after the, oh yeah, it's like a, you know, first thing she said was, so are you ready to have carpal tunnel surgery now? And then kind of the second one was, you're not gonna take that off. Because I gotta rest the nerve as much as I can so that it doesn't keep doing damage to the rest.